so guys, it's the next day. I woke up feeling like death, but we still get on with it. I feel like I'm catching a cold. But um, today we are going to focus on installing the short shifter. So we're gonna have to jack up the car to disconnect it at the bottom. But um, yeah, it should be a straightforward job, hopefully. It was raining earlier, as you can see. But I think it's meant to be clear for the rest of the day now. But we're also kind of short for daylight at the moment. So we're trying to get all of our stuff in. I also have ordered a new mic for the camera, but the mic isn't working. So bear with me. I am trying to improve my audio because I know how annoying it is to just hear wind when you're trying to watch a video. So I am trying to up my game here, but bear with me. Hopefully in the next few videos, I'll have one sorted that actually works. But um, yeah, so enjoy the video. Um, hopefully there's a huge difference and the car will be totally transformed. I'm so excited. So we are simultaneously doing the trim video, which you probably have already saw on the channel, but that's why we don't have this on. But I just want to show you the before install of the short shifter. So you can see it's very long. I have the short shifter that I'm installing. My friend Jack had in his 325i and I felt um, the stride of his and it was way nicer. It was pretty short. have a low profile jack but it's still not this is on stock suspension we still have to do this so that's what Ross is doing now Hey guys, um, there's actually no videos on E82s and how to do this. So we got inspired from an E46 or is it an E60? But they obviously are a much bigger car and there's more space to get reach in. So first thing, I'm going to just wing this guys so you can learn with me or you can totally judge me. But first of all, I'm going to take off this heat shield because it's in the way. And then we're going to try get around here to try and loosen it. So, sorry now. So, I'm gonna take this off first. You got it, yay! Okay, so now we can bend this back somewhat to access right there. That's your finger, your camera. At least we need to access in this place. This will be very difficult. Okay. Do you see it? It's right up there. We can see. You can see the gear stick from here. Um, that's the clip that we have to pop out. There should be a washer there as well that we have to take off. And then this rod here, over here, I don't know if you can tell, has to pop out to the right. So we have very limited space to work with. Um, so yeah, let's try that. We need to just get a longer screwdriver to try and pop that out. So this is the clip you have to take off. Actually, to see this. Oh. oh my god, I'm moving the whole shifter. I can see it. Cut it out. Is it? Yeah. You yeah, boy. So at this point, it's actually easier if you get somebody to hold the gear stick from the inside of the car so that they can push it the other way to what you're pulling from. Yeah. It needs to be a certain amount clockwise for it to pop out. Wow. Yay. Okay, so this is the old one we just got out. And this is the new one. Well, it's second hand. Jack had it in his car. Um, he switched to an RTD shifter, which I'd love to do, but I don't have the money to do that now. So we have a compromise here, and I think this will be more suited to a daily driver. At the moment, it's set to the setting that Jack had it at, which is the lowest setting. 
and um, the shorts is setting so I'm gonna try to put that on maybe even from here it might be easier so I'll let you know how we get on okay so this is the way it goes in let's go in. Yeah, twist yours a bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't just keep it steady there. Yeah. And I'm going to put the clip on. short shifter is in place so we follow the same procedure as when we were taking it off that padding is in there and this is the second last touch so we're just gonna pop that in okay oh, wow this is looking so good i have ordered um a different gator so that should come in soon as well just pop this on So guys, that's a wrap on how to install a short shifter on an E82 135i. I'm sure all BMWs will be somewhat similar and other cars as well. So I hope you can take inspiration from this. I've never seen it done on an E82 on YouTube. I might be totally wrong, but I haven't come across it. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's freezing outside, look at that. Okay, anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.